Pastor Pat from the Sign of the Dub Church. I'm excited that you guys have decided to join me. I ask you to get your Bibles, get your breakfast, and I want you to meet me right back here. We are going to start another lesson for the month of March about what the Word of God says about us in His Word. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay? Bye bye. <music> Seymour Saltzman was eating an order of dull french fries at a round and about burger. He felt the fries needed salt. These fries are so dull, they could use some salt. Little did he know, he accidentally grabbed a radioactive salt shaker, pouring the contaminated salt on his fries. Eating the fries mutated him and turned him into... Salt Man! The man with the powers of a salt shaker, stopping the world's crime, one grain at a time. Mwahaha! <laughs> the money is all mine! You won't catch me! He's getting away! I know just the person to call. Hello? Edward Escargo has robbed the bank and is getting away! Suffering sodium! I'll be there in a pinch! Salt! I mean, halt, Edward Escargo! Uh, 
Oh no! Saltman! Now to end your reign of crime! And slime! Ah! The salt! It burns! You haven't seen the last of me! Well, I guess I'll have to take that with a grain of salt! <laughs> Saltman saves the day again! Tune in next seasoning for The Adventures of Saltman! What kind of love is this? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. What kind of love is this? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. When I am weak, you make me strong. In you, I live, I move, and have my being. I want to stop up life. Are you guys ready? We're going to pray. Father, we come before you and we thank you for this day. Father, we ask that your word goes forth and do what it was sent to do. Change hearts and minds, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, the lesson today is called Popcorn Tongue. Yes, Popcorn Tongue. So it sounds interesting, right? Okay, but let's start off with the scripture it's coming from Colossians chapter 4, verse 6. And it says, let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each other. 
that you may know how to answer each other. So we basically is instructed to be very careful what we say to each other. That's what that scripture is basically saying. That it should be seasoned, which when we when we have something and we season it, it makes it taste what? Taste better, right? Okay? We can tell a difference if we didn't put salt on something and we did put salt. It tastes a lot better. So God wants to do the same thing with our words, which basically means encourage people and lift them up and not tear them down. Say positive things. Don't complain. Don't murmur. And be nice. Okay? So let's start in, in the story today. It says, Susie watched eagerly as her grandmother began to pop some popcorn. Tell me about your school, Susie, said Grandma. Do you have lots of new friends? Susie sighed. Not really, she said. It's not easy to move to a new town and go to a new school. As Susie talked about the kids she had met, Grandma noticed she complained about them a lot. God says in Proverbs that if we want friends, we need to be friendly. Are you friendly? asked Grandma. Susie shrugged as Grandma poured the popcorn into a bowl and held it out. With a smile, Susie dug in. She stuffed her hand, a handful of popcorn into her mouth. As she began to chew, her smile vanished. Would you like some more popcorn? asked Grandmother. Susie shook her head. It doesn't taste good, she said. Grandma smiled. Do you know perhaps you're something like this popcorn? This popcorn, said Susie. What do you mean? Well, I think the per the reason you don't like this popcorn is because I didn't add any salt to it, said Grandma. Without salt, there isn't much flavor, isn't it? Colossians 4, 6 tells us that our speech needs salt as well. What we say. Susie laughed. So I should carry a salt shaker and sprinkle some salt on my tongue? She asked. Grandma laughed, no, but you need to recognize that if things you say are negative or complaining, people won't care for any more after the first taste. On the other hand, if you add a little salt, if you say nice things that are positive, things that make people feel special, they'll like talking with you and they'll be back for some more, explained Grandma as she sprinkled salt on the popcorn. I'll take some of that popcorn now, Susie said. She reached back into the bowl and put some in her mouth. I'll be back for more, said Susie. Salt does make a difference, she grinned at Grandma as she added, I'll try using a little salt at school tomorrow, which is good for Susie, right? Well, the question, guys, it says how we all spend a lot of our day talking. Which we know this, right? We talk to our friends. We talk when we go home. We, some of us got cell phones. We talk on our phones. We talk to our parents. But it says, do you spend that time complaining and putting others down? Are you talking about people? Are you complaining about people? About people? Are you saying nice things? Why are you talking? Just a question. You, you have to ask yourself that. What have I said today? Did I say anything nice or pleasing? That's positive to someone or encourage them or make them laugh or smile? Or did I say something mean and negative? Think about it. Or do you look for a chance to say something kind? And kind could be, be as simple as, hey, I like your jacket. I like your backpack. I like your shoes. There's a lot of things you can say. That's nice. They would make someone feel good about themselves. It says, also, take God's advice and add a little salt to your words by saying nice things. It's not hard to say nice things. It's not. Just think about something that would make someone feel good about themselves. That's all you have to do. And say, or even ask yourself, what am I about to say? Is that going to be nice and make them feel good? Or is that going to be um, negative? And make them feel bad about themselves. And you will get your answer right there. Because it says here guys look. It says then the people around you will be back for more. Take God's advice. Add a little salt to your words by saying nice things to people. And I promise you they will come back and talk to you again. They will come back and engage with you. So remember that guys. The next time you're talking with your friends or whoever. Just think about what you're saying. Is it negative or is it positive? 
in the PowerPoint today, it says, say positive things. And sometimes if you can't say anything nice, it's better to do what? Don't say nothing at all. Okay? Or just think. Think first before you say it. Because everybody has feelings. Okay? So I want you guys to remember this the next time you're out with your friends or whoever you are conversating with. Just think about what you're saying to them. Is it negative or is it positive? Is it making them smile or is it making them feel bad? Because God wants to do what? Season our words. Okay? So until we meet next Sunday, you guys be blessed. Take care. And remember, say positive things. Okay? Bye-bye. Hello, I am a little frog, you know. Well, I want to come and talk to you about Colossians 4, 6. Let your conversation always be full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Eh? Yeah. Bye.